Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, fellow acolytes and interested viewers in Divinity The Ordinary Sin 2 We went off last time after we talked to everybody um, we've met so far and now we are on our way to um, get through town, finish some quests, most importantly meet up with the elf oh, in the cave. But first <laughs> uh, I yeah, saw on? there are four guys ah, here. Gobblers, the both of Let's see what we can do Hope with them. Hope you're behaving yourself, Freshy. Yeah. Perhaps we can... I don't know. I thought we can sneak past them, but they are all... Occupied. Alright. So, let's look for the cave. And then... Let's see. We are still level 2. And we are... Yet so quickly um, we find so uh, four so episodes in so tells you a lot about the game I guess or about my gaming speed hmm. also we wanted to check up on the girl if she's still alive because we sent her down to the madman ah no he's dead Right. Oh, this card decorated with a mosaic of shiny paper is the most powerful card in the popular game, Courtiers. And we got some clothes. Oh, all right, I'll take the boots. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, and we have Nebora's boots, so take them. Alright. I guess with the Sparkra card we can play the guys. The ravaged among the ruins. That is all we are in Fort Joy. Um, yeah, so we can perhaps win a card game against these thieves we've met. Can we walk? No. I thought you can walk upon this ship. Alright. It was her, wasn't it? The monster. I guess she's living. Pop. Is that is that really you? Little Yarrow girl. Grown up, flower-headed girl. What have they done? Yeah, as she is a Magister, we will definitely ask her why she kept her own father prison here. I mean, don't they tell each other what they are doing? She looks at you with hatred etched deeply in the lines of her face. I didn't want any of this. I mean... More so that he seems to be in a state where he isn't a human, human anymore. I mean, I, she can see this. Um, you could say you're glad that they found each other again, even under these circumstances. She looks at her father and manages a small smile. As am I. Yeah, did you ever see this kind of magic before? It's strange. It almost reminds me of the creatures Dallas keeps at her side. Sometimes you hear a kind of muttering beneath their masks. She reaches out to touch her father's hand. He withdraws it quickly before remembering himself and reaching out to Yarrow again. I had no idea what a fool I am. And who is responsible? There were always rumors about the hammer. Dallas, that is. What she was doing with the prisoners she hauled off to her fortress. 
why they never joined the rank and file thereafter. I suppose. I suppose now I know. Wait, before you go. You've helped us a great deal today. Let me help you too. I have a little gold on me, and take this key. I'll show you where you can use it. It opens a door leading into the fort that may help you get out of this wretched place. Oh, nice. It isn't too late for you. Not yet. <laughs> Alright, we can get scale pants. Or a pocket knife. Arrow girl. Let's go with the pocket. Oh. Okay, it? but let's go with the, the pocket monster. knife. Don't think of the ugly now. Here I am. Here you are. Here we well, are. that's quite a shame. <laughs> to see a family broken like this, but hmm. I guess. All right, you're getting the pocket knife. Can we pickpocket? <laughs> What's happened? I'm presenting my bags. <laughs> oh, is that Little. What have they done? Oh, oh wait. Right. You've helped us. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, not done. You dare. Right. Uh, all right. I should have <laughs> uh, changed the keybind for starting a battle. All right. Uh, so let's check. Finally, check the cave with the elves. Uh, let's go in there. Ah. Oh. The soldier tightens his grip on his spear and looks past you. All right. Oh. Yes. They do. It is as you say. There is another magical decor in it for us. Oh. <laughs> but he doesn't like us anymore. <laughs> All right. Oops. Camera angles can be weird sometimes. Is this a mirror? This is very good. Sahela is all right. I still protect her. She does not die here. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I'm uh, able to help. I guess we are a good character now. <laughs> Do not forget what I ask of you. Sahela cannot stay here. She is too important, too rare. Our people must find her. What will Sahila do now? I heal. We count on you still. To tell the elves who remain, the elves who roam, to bring them here. She is not lost here. Anyone can be lost, but not her. Why is Sahila so important? She is very special. She sees how we will survive. The Void Woken, the Dead Divine. She leads us back home. Do you have any evidence to back it up? I never hear her speak something untrue. She sees what others cannot, and she sees our salvation. Well... Anyway, I'm still glad to have been of service. All of luck to you. Who is Ruben? Go away, small brain. Small brain? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. 
She breaks into a huge, childlike grin as you approach. One friend brings another home. Thank you. Yeah, let's tell her right away that Amiru gave, gave us a token for her people. Her face falls at the mention of her home. Her hands fly instinctively to her eyes, as if to wipe away tears. But she stops herself. My people, I miss them. But they cannot save me. Where are you coming from? Homeland is gone. Home is wherever my people are. My mother is amongst them. Tova, her great elf. I do not mind Fort Joy, but I miss her very much. Well, with a large of a group, you can take Fort Joy. It is not to be. We stay in Fort Joy. They stay elsewhere. This is the way. This is the only way. Well, I miss my people too. Yes. It is a deep hurt. In my tribe, we say, the heart lives in the family cookpot. It is true, um. I think. How is Amiro doing? He gets better, little by little. We are together. We always get better if we are together. Alright, I must be going. She squeezes your hand. I do not forget you. Remember me too. I will. Alright. Plus zero five movement. Alright. Hey, plus one telekinesis. Uh, I guess I'll take these. Thank you. You go. You survive the journey. Um, they are better than our pigskin gloves. And these are better than muddy mittens. I am quite well again. Then we make another attempt. Alright. Here's Elodie. Thank you for your help with that thug. Rare is the human who goes against their own for an elf. <laughs> well, obviously she needs to toughen up, that's true. But let's let's keep it simple. And say that we are happy to help. She bows. How did you come to Fort Joy? It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magister's come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. So do you know a way out? I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can I stand. Don't believe but, oh, I fear anymore. the Magisters. Well, who's in charge around In here? this cave, we trust the healer. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. True. Wait, before you go. I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. She gave us a head. Thank you. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Soon. Quite well again. Then we make another attempt. Uh -huh. Should we take a tormented soul or another helmet? I guess we need armor, so let's let's take the helmet. The pros of you probably 
will say to me I am dumb for taking this, but um, yeah. Actually, let's have Sibylla eat all this body parts. <laughs> Let's see. You cover your face with your hands. You've just heard the news. The elven homelands have been destroyed by death fog. Oh, all right. It was your order who did it. How can this be? Huh. Oh, and she learned first aid from. All right. <laughs> so this was a head from a magister, I guess. A single name throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. He cannot die here. He cannot. So this was the leg of the... A lizard woman who was executed. So she tried to save the Verdas. You hated your work for the Order. You wanted to be a stonemason, marry the baker. You still dream about it every night. Alright. What's behind these barricades? We'll find out later. Or perhaps I can burn them down with a grenade. Good stuff tends to burn down. So let's try that. Hmm. But at least they are weakened. Resurrection scroll. Hmm. Alright. If we attack these barricades. Oh, we can cut through them. Oh, damn. <laughs> I could have used the fire. Could have used the fire to get rid of that ooze. Well, now I have run I have to run through. Actually, Bill, you can too. You can, you can do it. You have magic ammo. All right. Penny bun mushroom. Is there anyone in here? Oh, there's another shovel. There are some bones, I guess. I feel uneasy here. Poison flask and some <laughs> pants. <laughs> right. A poisoned fish pie. And a poisoned bottle of beer. What's up with poison in here? Oh. That's up with poison, I see. <laughs> Alright. Well, we can always teleport behind those frogs, I guess. Oh, and they then put some ooze to the ground. Alright, let's backstep him. Use our adrenaline. 
I'm ready. And backstab him once more. So, hey, and we can encourage all of our group members. Oh, that's nice. Let's just move out of the poison. And go backstab him. Oh, we missed. Alright, let's do the, the flesh sacrifice. Polymorph this frog into a chicken I'm ready. <laughs> and drink a healing potion, I guess. Right. And then end our turn. Chicken runs away. Oh! I didn't see this guy. I guess they are a bit too hard for us. But we'll see. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, I'm quick loading. We have to come back later. God damn it. I mean, okay, we are level 2, but... Damn. Everything in this game kills us. Okay, then let's go to bed. Talk to this stupid human. All right. Oh, let's dig here. An ancient stone hedge. <laughs> let's go down. Oh, we did get a level. Let's look at the talents first. Let's go with Lone Wolf. Because I've read up on this and with Lone Wolf you can have two companions in your party. So one extra and you. And still get the bonus of 30% more, more vitality armor and magic armor and also you recover two more HP per round and get two to the max AP. And also for every skill point you um, invest you get double the skill points into it. These are finesse, yeah, base weapons. So let's get one point in finesse, and you see, we've got two instead of just one. Critical chance. Mm, let's get the strength point for now. All right, and then we need a skill. We have dual wielding. And we have scoundrel. Critical multiplayer on movement speed. Well, let's. Mm. 
more damage and more dodging. More critical multiplier. Damn. <laughs> Well, let's go with Scoundrel first. And for the bill, um, we already know that we have to use some dual wielding on her. And she also gets a point in finesse. I guess one in wits because she's pretty witty. <laughs> All right. So. Ah, there's the child. With her, this is my new friend. She's really smart. You'll like her a lot. Please, small child, leave me to my ruminations. She's really nice and tall. Maybe she can even help you with that thing. Why? A grown friend. You brought an adult here. Good. Good God. Can it be? <laughs> no more infinite tea parties, I guess, with this child. You! Tell me true. Stand you with the Source Hunters, or do you serve the tyrant Bracchus Rex? Um... Yeah. Tell him I'm neither camp and I'll quickly bring him up to the last thousand years of history. A thousand years? Gods, the walls of this pit have leached a whole millennium from me. I haven't seen a living soul in all that time. What a strange notion. Hmm, why are you trapped down here? A wicked king, it was. Bracchus Rex by name. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Yet, my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Please, good lady, you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. I guess he's an Eternal, then. Seize the spear. End this degradation. Right, uh, let's. Uh, I got it. Good madam, you have set my body free, free to crumble to dust at last. Oh. But my spirit, blast! I remain trapped in this mouldering skeleton yet. <sighs> what is binding you then? A spell most terrible. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Bracchus Rex. May maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What right. say you? Sounds good. Marvelous, my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. All right. The switch will open a hatch, and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracchus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Bracchus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die. At last. With dignity. Can you tell me more about this island? Fort Joy is a dangerous place, my friend. Dangerous indeed. Bracchus used this place to build an arsenal of terrible weaponry as yet unseen in our world. Here, he and his researchers crafted punishments and snares contrary to human dignity. Objects that could contain souls, ones that could purge the very essence from sorcerers. 
My order would never have used such barbaric magic against our enemies. So I guess Dallas has found out about this magic and now is using the sorcerers. Hmm. Does he know where his soul is? I kept? was fully briefed about this awful place before I came. My goal was to destroy the fiend who had been marshalling the world's most unwholesome weapons and magic into an army he intended to use against the realm. I never thought I would become one of his victims. And yet, here I am. Mm. All right. Rubbish. Wither is free. Now he can be happy. Now he can get out. <laughs> Aren't you going? <laughs> you owe me now. Give me all your milk money, I guess. Aren't you going to miss your friend? Well, yeah. My friend, and it's better if your friends are happy. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you have lockpicks. Uh, well, I'll take them. You can have uh, a crafting book and our old pants and gloves and our shift. I have a broken bottle, a broken box. Not the shovel door. Mm. Have a beer? Of course. Mm. Oh, a spear is a finesse weapon, but it can't backstep. How much is this worth? 116. Right. Hmm. Well, let's give him a bit. Pocket gold. So he can buy another beer. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. Hmm, I was happy to help. When I grow up, I want to be a hero like you. You're a real hero, not only one from a story. You finished your quest and saved the princess. Skeleton, friend. Here, take this. It'll show you how to find my secret fort and my treasure chest. So here's your last quest. If you can find a way up, you can have my treasure. Alright. What? Thanks again for helping with her. Oh, another scroll. And shoes. Uh, so low, is it? Oh, Sibyl, I mean. Okay, she has the forest boots and I have, well, <laughs> tattered boots. Uh, so let's get the mage shoes. And the kid gave us something. Give us any map or something. He said if we can get up there. Hmm. 
either I missed it or... He gave me nothing. <laughs> so, if you've seen anything, um, what the child gave me... This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. Alright. Uh, but what if Sibyl uses her chicken ability and transforms me into a chicken? It was blocked by my physical armor. Alright. Well. I guess we are going then. Oh wait, so before we go and break into the fort, I want to dig at all these places. And also retrieve the, the gloves from the crocodiles. Right. And beat the turtles, that's important. Alright, so. I think I'll end this episode here. Um, I hope you had a bit of fun watching this. And if you saw something I missed, just write a comment. Or perhaps you can help me out with this child's quest. Uh, if you, yeah, showing me the path to his treasure. But there was no treasure. I can only imagine he means the chest in this waterfall. But I... Well, I don't know how to get there. So, yeah, as anyway. And I see you in the next video on Wednesday. And I hope you had fun. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.